guys, it's Abby here with my weekly makeup basket. We are gonna put away this hot mess and shop my stash to pick out makeup to use for the upcoming week. If this sounds like something you like to do, then just keep watching. Here we go. All right guys, these are products from last week. So we will put them away. The only thing from all of this that I want to add in um, for the next month is the Marc Jacobs. This one is the Kink and Kisses. This is one of my favorite blushes and I just didn't really get a ton of use even though I pulled it a couple of weeks in a row. But this is what it looks like and I absolutely love it. So that's going to go into <laughs> the makeup drawer and the rest will be put away. Also, if you're like, Abby, why is there a Sephora bag on your vanity desktop and you're not buying makeup well <laughs> jared's sister gets boxy charm and she passed along to me the products that she is not going to use or she doesn't want so there is violet boss essentials i think this is a fairly recent palette and then oh my gosh i'm so excited to get the alomar cosmetics this is their um blush trio Woo, oh gosh this is what it looks like really pretty this i've had before um the perfector face palette and i had passed mine along but maybe i'll i'll play with it again and decide if i've changed my mind about it also i did get this one before too the pretty vulgar uh shimmering swan um that highlight is a little dark for me but uh i know i have people who want it i'm excited to use this highlight right here um steve laurent jelly highlighter um cotton candy so fun fun and the thing that like really excited me is to have a loose highlighter this is summer haze by um ah, artist couture couture i feel like these highlighters are like low-key popular right now so i'm excited to have a loose one to play with because i was kind of thinking about picking up like a wet and wild one to see like what the hype is around it um so yeah i'm really excited to have that and then this um ace beauté single this is an eyeshadow um and cotton candy a glitter eyeshadow kind of looks like color pop packaging and then there's just some mascaras and eyeliners i'm excited um for this better than sex waterproof i don't typically wear waterproof mascara but i've been thinking about maybe wearing one to the gym so i can have like a little bit of makeup on when i'm there um so i'm gonna try that out and then some some of these i've tried before like i know i like the regular better than sex and then there's just like some liners here i've never tried but i know i love the roller lash Big Ego, is that Tarte? Yeah, Tarte, I haven't tried that before. And what is this one? Power Up by Butter London, haven't tried those. Some more liners, and then a brow product from Billion Dollar Brows. So that was what was in here. And I'm just gonna sit it to the side with the products that I showed you guys last week that were passed along to me. And, um, you know, we'll just play with them in the future. You know, that kind of thing. But guys, fam, hello. This is our community project pan slash makeup basket to go check out my makeup organizational video from earlier in the week. Morty's getting hyped down there. Do you hear him? Because that is where we pulled all of this makeup. This is all of my neglected makeup. So let's just dig in, zoom in, and talk neglected makeup. Hopefully this isn't too weird of an angle. I have you farther back, but more zoomed in. But anyways, like I was saying, um, this is our community project pan slash weekly makeup basket. So I shopped my collection for neglected makeup, and that is what all of this makeup is right here. And so I'll talk about it a little bit more as I go along. I would love for you guys to follow along. If you don't make videos, then just leave in the comments below Below what neglected makeup you have pulled out and what you're gonna try to give love to and also if you are gonna pan anything so we're gonna do this for a month so for the next three videos after this one we will um, shop the stash from this collection of neglected makeup and so um, we also have some project pan items in here some chopping block items in here as well. So let me know what you're gonna do and how you're gonna follow along. There's really like no rules, like don't get too like 
involved in the details like we're just like talking makeup that's all that's all do as you will with it and if you film videos i would love um a shout out and let me know you filmed it anyways here it is in my neglected makeup in my collection and some of it is neglected because it's new and i just haven't given it a lot of love i just kind of got lost in my collection and some of it is just neglected in the sense that i just never ever pull for it so like for example this um born this way is in here because i just haven't really given it a ton of love even though i've had it for a little while and same with this mac palette so i am gonna use the born this way palette for the same um palette through all this video in the next three of makeup um baskets so this will be the same and then i'll whoa. one reason i decided to keep this the same is to get a lot of use out of it because i feel like my eyeshadow palettes get neglected in the sense when you pull it for a week you only get to use it a couple of times and then it's put back in the collection but i pulled this one in particular because i know it's been on sale a lot recently and um a lot of you just picked it up during um well, it's just 21 days of beauty so i just thought it would be fun to pull it for you guys and there's so much that is neutral but there's also pops of colors and there's really a lot you can do with it and it does have really nice um pigmentation so we're gonna use this for the month which is crazy all right and then for primer uh like i said this is the project pan section over here which you can't really see all right so we're gonna use this little sephora super hydrate this is a primer or it could be skincare. So I'm going to use it as a primer and I do want to use it up. And I think honestly, um, if I use it at least twice a week, I'll, I will get through it. And then I also want to keep in, I, I did pick three primers back here, which is kind of excessive, but I do want to just play with them so along with the sephora one for the week i will pull the prep and hydrate balm i think that this would be really nice to put on first and then put the other one on and um just kind of see how it goes it is super it is super hydrating um it kind of feels like water on the skin kind of like those water primers um like the catrice bamboo one uh but We'll try using these together. It might be excessive to use two primers, but we live our best life over here. We do what we want. And then I did pick a few um, items for foundation. One, one combo that I loved last week, let me grab it, was the um, Born This Way Too Faced foundation mixed with the Flower Beauty. I have this on today and I was also wearing it at the beginning of that organizational video. This combo is really nice because obviously one's too light for me right now and one's too dark. But they have similar consistencies so they just play really well. And I feel like the formula itself is very similar. Um, but it's just a beautiful combo. So I do have that one to the side and I also have um, some Project Pan ones to the side. But I still want to pull these other things. Again, a bit excessive perhaps mayhaps doesn't matter no <laughs> we're gonna pull the uh wet and wild cushion spf 15 this one is in light ivory it might be a little bit dark maybe oh or light <laughs> take that back it might be a little light for me um but maybe not i don't i'm not really sure so play with this and see how we feel about it Okay, get makeup all over it. Good job, Abby. Good job, Abby. Woo! Okay, what are your neglected primers and foundations? I'm ready. Hit me. I put this Project Pan section. This is the Naked Skin um, Concealer by Urban Decay. Mine is light neutral. Do I feel like I'll be able to finish it in a month? No. But I feel like if I only use this one concealer for the next month, I will put a big dent in it so when I put it in my next project pan, <laughs> is it cheating? Is it thinking ahead? I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, you know, we're just trying to make use. And I think, so none of my concealers are that old. So I think this is the oldest, which is only like six months old. It's not that bad. So 
gonna pull that and then for setting powder the other project pan item that I put in here is my Maybelline fit me powder this one is in fair and there just isn't a lot in here it's like down here so I feel like if I can use it as my only setting powder for the whole month that we're doing this I might be able to get through it and then I, these are my topping block items right here. So I put, I went ahead and put back my setting powders that I always keep in my weekly makeup basket. And we're just going to use this It Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder Illumination Sheer to Full Coverage Finishing Veil. <sighs> Oh my god, <laughs> this one is in light. I've never really liked this one. I've used it to like touch up my makeup. Full disclosure, full disclosure. Uh, where I worked before, I cried basically every day at work. <laughs> so I kept this in my bag to touch up my makeup afterwards and um, it worked like a gym. So I've kind of built some trust with it. So maybe I'll like it as a finishing veil. If not, it might have served its purpose in my life. Um, but yes, 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 yes. Um, okay. I have some other powders here, but let's, let's not get too carried away. And I said I was going to add this blush in here. So we'll sit that there. Um, okay, so we have the phase on lock and key and some, okay, not a lot of my makeup collection is neglected because of my weekly makeup baskets and project pans. So for some categories, I really only have one item for that category. So for bronzers, we're just going to do the Milani 02 Silky Matte. My girl, Julie Dawn Olsen loves this and she's the reason I purchased it and I just haven't given it a lot of love um, I purchased it about three months ago and I've just been so distracted by my go-to bronzers that I think it's time to just focus on this one for a month and see I kind of feel like it might be too dark for me but then I also feel like I could make it work so I'm not really sure about it all so we will pull that, and if halfway through I'm like, this ain't it, we'll switch things out, but, um, you know, you know. Oh, I said in the organizational video I was not going to do a setting spray, but this one is pretty much empty, and I rotate through all my setting sprays that this could last forever, unless, unless I just, like, lock down and really use it, so this is the Wet n' Wild rose three in one primer water i do love these and i would totally repurchase this is the last one i have on my collection once i go through and use up everything um i would totally go repurchase this again but next year i'm going to do a project pan no buy on certain categories of my collection just heads up and setting sprays is one of those categories that i'm just not i'm just going to use what i have and then once i've used everything up except for the urban scale nighter we're not gonna we're not gonna pan that if we don't have to but uh once we've used everything up then i'll start repurchasing stuff but i just i don't want to commit to a whole year of no buy but I also want to use up what I have because I have so much I was looking at makeup the holiday makeup and I part of me feels like I can't even buy anything because I just have so much and then the other part of me is like but this is holiday 2019 like of course we have to buy something so I, I'm torn I'm torn we'll see what birthday gift cards we get but uh for what are you guys seeing I really want so Becca has their uh, lipsticks, like minis. They have three of the minis that are in this formula, the ultimate formula. And this particular color is in taupe. Um, this color is growing on me. At first I didn't love it, but it's so fall. And now that it's almost fall, I'm, I'm really vibing with it. But you can get a set of three minis for I think $25, which I think is a good deal. Benefit has their cookie highlighter now as a single. I really want that. Um, Benefit has um, Gimme Brow 2 packs, both at Sephora and Ulta. Sephora has more color options, but two for 24. So it's a, well, two for the price of one. Um, and then there are um, some Tarte lipstick, little duos. This is a lot that I'm like, I'm eyeing. I'm eyeing it, okay? Okay, and then 
the um, Too Faced Extra Spice Gingerbread Palette. That one looks really pretty. I don't know. Let me know. Oh, oh, and I wanted to tell you guys I am not going to get the Hourglass palettes this year because they are so similar to the ones last year that I'm just not going to spend the money because they're so expensive. But I do recommend them if you did not get it last year. I think you'll love it. And I mean... A lot of me wants it, but it's $80 to have something that's basically the same. Like, two or three of the shades are the same or close enough that it's like, eh, no, Abby. <laughs> but uh, that's going to be one thing I pass on, but I do recommend. But what are you guys looking at? I honestly haven't spent a lot of time looking at new holiday makeup, but also a lot of it hasn't come out yet either. Okay. We're going to go with the Invisible Glow Highlight. This is Gilded Glow by Bare Minerals. Yes, this is one of those, as it says, invisible highlights. Like, you really have to build it up, but it looks really nice on the skin. And I want to pull this one because the blush that I want to pull is um, this one from Juvia's Place. Uh, this is the... This is the Surf Afina, Surf Afina blush by Juvia's Place, and it is a peach color, but it's a very pigmented um, peach color where you really need to um, use a light hand when you put it on, but I don't want to pair it with an intense highlight since this is going to be so pigmented and in your face. So we will pull that, and I do still have like Project Pan eyeshadows and blushes, so it will be nice to only focus on a couple at a time and not get overwhelmed with pulling too much. Um, okay, I changed my mind. I want to pull the Catrice Light Illusion Loose Powder Yellow Matte. This is a brightening powder that is obviously yellow that I love wearing underneath the eyes to set underneath the eyes. So um, I think I'll go ahead and pull this as well. And I think we will call it a day with that. Ah, there's like, I just want to pull it all at one time, but let's be realistic, Abby. Let's be realistic. All right. Yeah. Okay. We got a mess over here. So let's, let's, let's put this, let's put it all together. Clean it up, put it together, move along. Okay, so here is everything that we are going to be using for the upcoming week. I did decide to go ahead and keep out the um, Artist Contour Contour Loose Powder in Summer Haze. I'm just so excited to try this. So I did pull that. Here are all of the foundations except for the cushion that's down here. Um, this one... Anyways, it's a product pan item. I was going to give an update, but we'll wait. Um, some of these... I just need to really dive in. Some are too light, like this one right here from um, Physician's Formula. It's just too light for me right now, but I keep trying to make it work. Um, anyway, so those are foundations. As far as the lipsticks go, I'm posting on my Instagram. So here are all of my um, lipsticks, and I'm just kind of digging them out and using them one at a time to see which ones I love, which ones I want to get rid of. So up here are already the ones I have that I love, which are obviously my Buxom Plumping Lipsticks. Love those. Um, the Becca one I just showed you. And I love the Laura Mercier Free Spirit Lip Gloss. I also love Dose's uh, Messy Bud. And I love the Melted Matte, which I have in Queen Bee. Love that one a lot. And then I just have some brow and mascara here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this Artist Contour on top. And then in here we have uh, the Born This Way and then some Project Pan items underneath. And then also over here we have all the powders. So bronzer, setting powder, blush, and all of that. And then over here we have the base products that we pulled, which were the highlighters and the cushion and the setting spray and all of that is in there. So that is everything for the week. Please let me know down below, down below, your neglected makeup. What are you going to pull out and show some love to? Oh, hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Hmm. Um, my hair is a mess. I let it air dry in a towel and it's a wreck. I'm about to film some more videos for you guys. Um, 
I might only have one video up next week, which is going to be my wedding makeup. It just takes me, it just depends on how long it takes me to edit that video. What? What? Um, and then after next week, you guys are going to have a week Abby Marathon of Project Pan videos. So the updates I owe you, the new ones that I'm doing, and my empties video. So that is coming. It's going to be five days of Abby Project Pan. So subscribe if you are not subscribed. And then after that, I think I'll be pretty much caught up on videos. I think I have one more that I told you guys I was going to get up. And after that, I'm really just going to focus on get ready with me's. Like this look right here is so simple, but it's so fun. And I'm like, I just need to show or share some more get ready with me's with you guys because it's been a minute. So I hope you all are doing well. I hope this sounds interesting to you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.